the uh, rodeo scene. Hot, that's the word. I've never been to hell, but if hell's anywhere near as hot as that rodeo, I'm, uh, it's time to start praying. It's been hot today, ridiculously hot. We've been shooting in 40 degree plus heat. Probably the hottest most people had ever been in their lives. I think it was about 40 degrees. Matter of fact, she shot some footage of a thermometer that was hanging out the back, I think, of the grips truck. I think it was 43.5 degrees in the shade. So out in the middle where we were shooting with the uh, with Casper, the calm bull, it was just so unbelievably hot. And I was in bl uh, blue jeans, leather boots, leather chaps, thick black cowboy top with a leather protective vest, which the real um, bull rider had to wear, plus a hat. And I don't think I've ever been that hot in my life. Um, not many people say, Phew, Shane, you're hot. But that day, they were saying, Shane, you must be hot. I'm sure of it. How am I feeling? Well, it's not, it's not about how I'm feeling. It's about how the bull's feeling. So basically, we're going to see what the bull does. We don't know. That guy there, just film there, this guy, this guy. See that guy there? How much does he look like me? So I'm thinking, guy goes on the bull. Oh, it's funny. Uh, Dean has asked me, and Paul has asked me. Not this guy, that guy. The guy called Guy. I don't think so. <laughs> the most trickiest one to try to pull off was the rodeo sequence where we had to show Shane on the back of a bull being bucked. Cut. Because we're just extras, we're pretty much in the rodeo, screaming our lungs out, yeah. ooing and ahhing. Reacting to a man falling over. Yeah. Perhaps. We're meant to be... Meant to be a bull. Yeah. This is the, probably the logistically most challenging location. Because we had lots of people on bulls and horses and um, the various events that we were staging to happen for a real rodeo, lots of extras. Rodeo people, announcers, clowns, kids, extras, cattle, trucks. Tomorrow we'll have a market stall. It, it's, it's pretty big, yeah. yeah. But then add to that 43.8 degrees and us all standing out in the middle of the sun all day, um, yeah, very challenging. Uh, in between takes, I was actually slurring my words and at that point, I think we all realised I was starting to, uh, I had gone into dehydration and started to fade out a bit, but we got through it all. But uh, no, I, by choice, I wouldn't kind of work in that heat wearing those clothes ever again. I owe Dean Murphy a lot for that. I'm one day going to turn up at his house in the middle of summer and turn his heaters on while he's asleep and wrap him in plastic. <laughs>